Hello everyone and thank you for your interest in my poster presentation on the use of NetFax to describe the repertoire of Barbara Macaque's facial behavior. Facial signals are important social communication tools in many species as they allow individuals to navigate the social world by helping anticipate future behavior in interactions. It has, for example, been shown that macaques can predict social outcome from facial behavior. Several reports of the repertoire of macaques' facial expression and gesture has been described, but facial signals are dynamic, graded, and then merge into each other, as we can see on this video. So to overcome the subjective and broad classification of facial behavior, an objective bottom-up approach has been developed, the Facial Action Coding System, FACS, which describes facial movement as a action unit, or AUs, referring to the facial muscle contractions, and each observational AU, observable AU resulting from the contraction of a muscle unit is assigned a code. FACS produces very rich data set, but these have some features that don't fit well with traditional statistical models, which prevent from defining and quantifying complexity. Standardized methods of network science are one way to overcome these issues, and NetFACS is a statistical package that my colleagues developed that combine facts data and network analysis, where the face is conceptualized as a network of interconnected action units. And NetFACS is based on probability of occurrence, permutations, and bootstrapping. In this study, we followed adult Barbary macaques in Trenta Monkey Forest in the UK and then facts coded interaction from the video collected. We labeled the context in which the facial behavior were produced, for example, affiliative or aggressive, and we then applied net facts to analyze them. Um, here is an example of an analysis we get from NetFax. We have a bipartite network showing the probability of attribution to a context when an action unit was active. This graph shows, for example, that action unit 18, responsible for the puckering of the lips, is not specific to a context, but is shared between two different conditions, aggressive and affiliative. And this can be seen on this video below. In aggressive situations, 18 is res responsible for the all face um, signaling a threat on the right. And um, in affiliative, it contributes to what is called to the lip smack. Um, we can also see on this graph, for example, that, that for 97% of observed instance of EAD1, the action descriptor of the movement of the ears forward, happens in aggressive context. This does not mean that all aggressive facial signals contain this action, but that EAD1 is specific to aggression and does not happen in any other context. Now we also see that the ear flattener EAD3, which is the opposite of the EAD1 as it moves the ears backward, also happens in aggressive uh, condition. And in further analysis, we would like to investigate these morphological differences and test if the presence of one trigger different outcome of the interactions, or if they are directed towards certain individuals. In general, we plan to explore the influence of social factors such as sex, relationships, rank, kinship on the morphology of facial signals. Um, we plan to analyze cluster without any labeling of context to detect unknown pattern and move out from broad categorization. Um, we aim to break down the analysis within context or within similar morphology to report the variability and provide a fine-grained repertoire of facial behavior. We will also use NetFax to represent networks of different signals uh, with action units. Another um, function in NetFax that is under uh, development um, is to include temporal information such as AU duration, coactivation, and sequence of activa activation. And in summary, we will use a network quantitative measure to define communicative complexity of Barbary macaque facial behavior. And with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention and we'll be happy to exchange on this project. So feel free to contact me in the break room or via these addresses and um, you're welcome to uh, um, visit this website to have more information about NetFax. Thank you.